Howdy, 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 everybody, and welcome back to Minecraft. I am Gomer the Ranting Thespian, and I'm doing my intro in reverse. Oh, and and uh, last time we went and we checked out these little caves over here. They didn't really go anywhere, but we found some iron and all that good shit. So let's see, because I didn't really leave anything behind. No, I didn't leave anything smelting. Yeah, okay, so we're all good there. We got 49 and 64. So, there's that cave off in the distance. Let's go. <laughs> oh, so, the day I'm recording this, the first uh, the first episode went up. Hopefully, everybody's enjoying it, and hopefully, y'all enjoy the second one as well. So, let's see. Oh, there, oh, yeah, that's right. There are two of them over here. I got four pork chops, though. That's going to be fun. Hmm. Maybe I should have put out a little puzzle. Maybe a little... Um, I'm gonna say quiz, but that's not the word I want. Um, uh, poll. You go with say, hey, which one should I go for? But no. All right, here we are. And in we go. Journey into the depths. Oh, that looks like it's gonna come outside somewhere. Yeah. So this is more of a tunnel. That's okay. Tunnels happen. And. <gasps> Oh, what is that up there? Oh. Also? Ow. That hurt. <laughs> also some animals. We're going to get some more meat. I'm gonna piss off PETA. Because fuck PETA. <laughs> Come here, chicken. Fuck. I can get beef. I can make some leather shit. Uh... Unfortunately for some people, you can't make that into gimp suits or anything. Um, who would? I wonder who would. Has somebody made like a, a, a Minecraft gimp suit? Like, like, like an equipable one, not, not as like their actual avatar. Somebody has had to have done it at some point. Did I see an egg? There it is. Hey, chick, 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 chick. I swear, I will get it. I, I can hit it, I swear. Okay, so that must be the other side of the other cave that I saw earlier. Okay, so up we go. I just stopped getting distracted by animals. <gasps> so, oh, so, oh, this, this is one of those things that's been, that's relatively new in terms of my experience. Because when I was playing Minecraft more often back in the long, long ago of however many years it was, I think it was pre-Trump presidency, and <laughs> that's how long ago it was. At least that I played regularly. I don't know, but... I mean, being on the road driving a truck, sometimes time just gets the hell away from you. Oh, my. Okay, we're still going. We're going further. 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 And up a doo, up a doo. Up my do and up your do. Up your do game. With do up. I don't know. I don't know what I'm blabbing on about. Uh, the day I'm recording this has been kind of a of a weird low day. Not not like not like oh I'm not like depressed low, just low energy for the most part. And then I saw this week's episode of Pokemon, and I'm like, oh shit, yeah. That's that was weird looking soil there. But all right, we got nether rack. We got magma blocks, which in my own personal ones I've been turning off like drowning and fire damage, but but I decided not to do that here, so I got to be careful. I think there was one, one of these that I found at some point that actually had like magma and lava flowing around. I gotta be careful of that. But just wow. But yeah, this is a failed nether portal. Weeping obsidian, which kind of freaked me out at first. Is like, oh god, am I gonna like get hurt if I touch it? No. All right. Oh, a bell. Um. Helmet, fire protection, smite. Ooh. Fire charge and two pieces of flint. I'll need those pieces of flint eventually. 
Oh, it's good to have another treasure chest and <gasps> gold. Gold is on up there. All right. I'll see why not. Good for 18 gold ingots. Nice. Ooh. Don't need to be, don't need to be hitting you. All right. I'm going to harvest all of this nether rack because I want to make these into nether bricks. Now I can see, I can see why your nether portal, portal failed. It's going to be too big. Like, like it's got to be two by three. You, you got this, you got the two right. You got to go, oh, maybe it is correct. Oh shit. <laughs> It just it just looks bigger than what I normally do. Normally, when I make another portal, and I'll hopefully show it off in the next video or two, if I'm lucky. But um, but when I make another portal, I make it two by you know do the two by three and have the flint and steel and all that. But I put it like to where the bottom part is in the ground. That way, all you have to do is just walk on in, and there you go. You're in the nether portal. That's how I like to do it. I. Wouldn't be surprised if that's how a lot of people like to do it. I'm doing more I'm doing more mining above ground than I am underground. <laughs> but that's okay. Because this is stuff normally you have to go to the nether for this. So oh shit, yeah. Oh. Oh, and imagine if there's like like lava flow up here. Holy fuck. That would be that would be kind of awesome. I heard a chicken too. Magma block, magma block. Okay. But yeah, I mentioned I mentioned like this the the week I'm recording this this week's episode of Pokemon and it's pretty good. It's like I I also keep I help keep. I use Cerebi to help keep track of like when things go down in Pokemon stuff, which includes when the Pokemon anime airs over in Japan. And this was this particular week was the episode where they run into Mewtwo outside of like a movie. And while I like I like some of the uh oh no. I don't have any more, do I? Fuck. I out of sub I'm out of that particular supply. That's okay. Let's kill this chicken and go on back. <gasps> Another cave. Right here. Oh, ow. Okay. So considering where I am now, I should be able to find my way back with little to no issue. Alrighty. That's where that is. All right. The caves came this way, so get back to the farm, go this way. A bit. Um, <laughs> yeah. Maybe more towards that way, but that's okay. We can make it. We'll make it. We'll make it. We'll make it. We'll make it. I'm out. I don't want to have to go and like kill myself to get back just yet. Because uh, you remember from the first video when I set this up, I set it up to where I keep my items after death. So, so you know, and, and it's a good way to get back quickly and easily without having to find my way or risk running out of items. Okay, there we go. There's the cave I came out of. There's the other cave I could go through. Uh, is there a good way to get back up? Should be. Despite all... Oh. Hey, chicken. Bye, chicken. So, all right. Was not anticipating running into that failed portal. But that works. And there's another cave over there. <laughs> I might try the other... I might try the other tunnel to double check. And here we are. Hmm. Maybe I'll make a boat. I should have the wood for a boat. If not... I could just chop some. Make a wood, f make make a boat, and use that to get over to the failed portal. That would be a good idea. 
Ooh. Piggy. Come here, Piggy, Piggy. Bye bye, Piggy. Oh, I can put on the helmet. It's not very durable, but, you know. Oh, only plus two armor, really? Eh, it's only a helmet. It gives me fire protection, so that'll help. I think gold is supposed to be, like, the easiest to enchant or whatever, or it's supposed to... I don't know if that's... I don't know if I'm just inaccurate or if that's changed or what, but... Yeah, my crops are growing. All right, wheat's coming up. And you got these here, the, the sugar canes, and... All right. Swap y'all out real quick, and... And boom da boom There we go. We got a full thing of... Sugar cane. Sugar cane. <laughs> All right, so put away a lot of this stuff here. All right. Lost some of that. I'll get another rack out. Put the chest in there. Da, 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 da. Ooh. Should eat. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. That's right. This is the simple one. Because I'm trying to remember, wait, did I not, like, yeah, because I, I, because in between these, I was doing a different one as well, and I was like, did I set up a simpler one? Yeah, I did set up a simpler one. Well, even simpler than this. Like, the top chest go, has, like, two of these, um, uh, yeah, what the fuck you call them? Yeah, but two of these things, two funnels. Hoppers, that's what they're called. Two hoppers. I go down into two separate furnaces, which then, which gets, both gets fed from one chest, and then both furnaces go down into a single, singular chest down here. I mean, I don't know how much more efficient that is, but it's fun. It's fun to put together, that's for sure. <laughs> Although now that I'm thinking about it, I could have set it up, and I'm talking about the one I set up, not, not this contraption, but if you set up a double chest, behind and then run hop run the hoppers into the into like the back sides that should work so the hoppers have to run into the side in order for the coal to go in but the top is for you know your smelting material and then the bottom -ding, it comes on out so now all this gold oh right Meant to do that <laughs> lint and steel i'm going to need that um, also gonna need you. I could pull out three of you fuckers this time. Really should have done that beforehand, but eh. Whatever, right? <laughs> Wasn't anticipating on going too far to begin with. I didn't realize I was going to run into a failed nether portal. But, you know, sometimes you just run into random failed nether portals sometimes. Might have been a little redundant. Oh, right. Boat. I want boat. I want boat. Give me boat. I take boat. Yay. Yay, I have boat. Uh, and then... Yeah, the reason why you want to melt down your nether rack... So you can make some nether bricks. You can take the nether bricks, and you can craft them... Into... Into, uh... You know, the nether version of these things here. Which I think looks really cool. Um, they do. They don't. They don't project a lot of light though. Like they, like how some things look brighter than others just for the hell of it. Not. I'm not talking like torches. I mean like regular blocks. It's one of those where it's like it drinks the light if it makes any sense. I, I don't know if I'm describing it right. But all right, I got plenty of food. I got boat. I get sh door shut in my face. So all right, we are going off. And there is that cave. A cave of wonders! Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I have food. I have sword. So it was all up there, right? Yeah, it looks, looks to be about right. I have a sense of direction, I promise. <laughs> I mean, I drove a truck for a number of years. You, you learn some sense of direction while you're doing it, if you don't already have it. And up. Give me boat. Thank you. And up. Zadoodle. 
And up and away we go. Oh, yeah. Ah. Okay. That's how that works. And oops, and oop, and oop. Ah. But yeah, if you haven't listened to, um, I think it's episode 283, 4, 5, 6, 7 of Thespian Talk. It's the one that came out on November 19th. <laughs> if you check out the Thespian Talk YouTube channel, you look for that one. You list, and if you haven't listened to that, you really should. It was it was fun. Um, right. Now we get to have fun. All right. I'm a working in a coal mine. You know that made me just think. What if they changed it up, make it more Star Warsy? I'm a Wookiee in a coal mine, Wookiee in a coal mine. No, I don't know where my brain went, was going to go with that either. <laughs> oh, is this another tunnel? It's another tunnel. Damn. Tunneler's dream, apparently. Okay. All I know is, if I start hearing, like, bones or brrrr or... Or, or the skitter of spiders. I know I'm getting near a spawner. So. One of those things. You gotta kind of balance out. Because I want to keep talking. And so you guys don't have me just sitting here. Looking like. The whole time. But at the same time. I also got to listen up. So you got to strike that balance. Like I struck that chicken. <laughs> strike that balance like you strike that chicken. Somebody put that on a t-shirt. Strike a balance like you strike a chicken. And then wear that and piss off the PETA people. <laughs> yeah. And you know, years ago, I don't I don't do it as often, if at all, anymore. But um in my in like younger days and I would be like, Get your ass over here. Thank you. Piggy. But um, I would pass by farms because I live out in like the rural part of the Florida Taint, um, which is mostly rural. You know, we got like a couple of beach cities up here, but anyway, not important. Um, there'd be farmland, and every now and then, it's usually when I'm traveling with somebody. I would I would roll down the window and yell at the cows, saying things like "future hamburgers" or whatever, you know, which. Kind of annoyed some of my vegan friends. Thankfully, they weren't the ones riding with me. So they had to hear about it, like, second, third hand from me whenever I post about it. And they'd be like, dude. I was like, well, I mean, they are. <laughs> then again, then again, I, it could, I could have been totally wrong. And those are like, no, those are not for eating. Those are for milking. Thank you very much. You could tell I was never part of the 4-H club. <laughs> Even though, I mean, down here you would think everybody would be, but no. I was like, nah. You guys have fun with your piggies and your cows and and all of that. I'm going to go play in the band. The trumpet player in high school. But then college came around. Is uh, that a second one? Or is that the same one I left? I think that's the same one I left. Yeah, that's the same one I left. Looks like it, because, yeah, there's no gold there. They usually have some gold there. All right. I went around in a big ass loop. That is what I've done. I've went around in a big ass loop. <laughs> so, okay. That happens sometimes. Sometimes you get in there and you go in a big ass loop. Oh, there we are. Yeah, I, I I can be a little shit and troll about certain things, but now if I say something like that, I'm gonna say that say it to people like Peta, because I do know some vegans and some vegetarians who are like, yeah, I, I just you know for whatever reason, you know they think meat is you know animals shouldn't be eaten or or what have you, or they have dietary reasons or they just don't like the taste of meat, you know, which are all valid, even and and. You know, there is... Oh. This, it's actually... Something I'm about to bring up also reminds me of the title of that episode of Thespian Talk. Nuance in my internet? It's more likely than you think. 
<laughs> uh, but um, but you know there will be some things, and I've I've mentioned it before on like videos or or podcasts or whatever. And you goddamn chicken, get back here! Take your sorting like a big boy. But um, but you know I'll 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 poke fun. I'll think certain things are silly. Like I think there was an episode of Thespian Talk where um. We were talking about like the neo pronouns or whatever, and I thought, and they still sound a little silly to. And bear in mind, this is to my cishet ears here. They they do a little bit, but and but at the end of the day, if you prefer me to use them, I'll use them, no matter how silly I think they are, <laughs> or at least silly sounding, not necessarily silly as in not valid, you know, because silly things, no matter how silly a thing is. They're still valid, whether or, whether or not you know you take them seriously. I, I don't. I'm I'm probably mincing a whole bunch of words here, but the the big takeaway is they're valid, <laughs> even though you know it doesn't matter if I think they're sound silly or, or or weird or whatever. They're still valid, you know, and that's just all there is to it. It's as simple as that, you know, and if. And if me, and if me poking fun at them every now and then is like little little much for you or what have you, then and 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 it's like really a a, a thing that I really should not be doing, because because I don't want to like alienate everybody. I want to alienate the Nazis because fuck Nazis. But you know, but if, you know if you're good people and and you don't, you know, just basically it's one of those like let me know things, you know. Ooh. This be a deeper cavern? Maybe, I mean, I've already dug myself a big hole right now. Maybe I'll dig a little further. I don't know. <laughs> but no, seriously, uh, to reiterate one last time, because I like to make sure ever I'm understood. Um, yeah, we'll just drop those down. Um, but to reiterate, you know, whatever pronouns you use, regular, neo, what have you, they're valid. Just whatever, and if you if you would prefer me to call you by those, I'll do it. I may poke a little fun here and there, but it's all in good jest. Uh, but that's where I'm going to leave this video. About to go out down in the damn cave under the damn desert here. Ooh, this ought to be fun. Oh, there's also also desert fortress stuff things that are around too. Desert fortress stuff things. Yeah, good Buffy speak there. But um, yeah. So we've we've hit a well over the twenty minute mark. So um, yeah, thanks thanks for watching everybody. Uh, thanks for allowing me to just ramble at you for a little bit. And um, yeah, we'll we'll catch you in the next one. So until then, this is Gomer the Ranting Thespian signing off.